The main focus that Challenger Manufacturing had when they designed the sweeper was to make something that was strong, was to make it tough, and to make it simple. Simple to operate, simple to clean, simple to service, and simple to repair. And as we walk around the machine, you'll see how we've achieved those goals. The heart of the sweeper is the hydraulic system. We utilize a variable displacement piston type pump. It generates 3,000 pounds per square inch at 32 gallons per minute. Each one of these spools are a manual override for each function inside the cab. When you push a button inside the cab, these levers will actually move. It's great for diagnostic purposes. As well, you can adjust the flow rate to each orbit motor or each lift cylinder on the sweeper just by turning these set screws. Our oil reservoir is 44 gallons. It has high oil temperature and low oil level sensors built into it. As you can see, the hydraulic lines are all accessible. They're plumbed on the outside of the frame rail. They're fastened properly and securely anywhere on the sweeper, whether on the frame or on the scissors. That way, when you, if you spring a leak or pinch a hose, you can get at it very quickly and get back on the road. The cooling system for the hydraulic system is mounted in the ceiling on this canopy. Rather than sandwiching the radiator in front of the engine radiator, we put it up there with its own fan, its own thermostat, it's, it, so you can clean it very quickly and it doesn't interfere with the other engine in very extreme temperature climates. The electrical system is uh, tidy and straightforward. There's only two electronic components on the whole sweeper, and that's the left and right potentiometers for down pressure on your side rooms. The rest of the functions are controlled by normal Bosch relays. The wires are all coded and marked according to the service manual, and the, and the colors are consistent throughout the sweeper. The electrical box is environment proof. It'll stay clean after years and years of use. Our gutter brooms are the trailing arm design, very rigid support system, makes it virtually impossible to damage these brooms. They're spring loaded so you can run into curbs or abutments and they won't hurt them. The motors are secured very strongly with four bolts to the disc. Again, you can adjust the down pressure from inside the cab as well as the side to side tilt. The lift cylinder is a four stage single cylinder design. The beauty of this system is, is that the cylinder bears the weight of the load in the hopper rather than the stabilizers. And that cylinder will lift 9,500 pounds. The maximum height to the pin is 11 and a half feet. And the height to the bottom of the door when it's tilted is 117 inches. The elevator is a chain with squeegee style elevator, very rugged for milling application or chip sealing application or winter sand that has to be picked up in the spring off city streets. Another very attractive feature of this elevator is if you remove four bolts and take the orbit motor off, you can virtually lift the elevator right out and lay it on a bench and do repair work to it or service work. The lift system, very straightforward. When the elevator lifts, so does the main broom. You can adjust the down pressure on the back broom, each side independently as your broom wears. No wrench is required. Very quick adjustment every morning if needed. 
The water tank is a 210 gallon capacity. Large manhole for cleaning. Air gap for filling. We are PM10 compliant and yet we're very efficient with our water. We have a spray bar in front of the main broom, in front of each gutter broom, and also under the front bumper in ex in when you need it for extreme conditions. Our fuel tank is a common fuel tank. 30 gallon uh, feeds both engines. At this sweeper, when you're in a, in a sweeping mode, it uh, usually consumes about 2.5 gallons per hour. The engine is a John Deere 4024H Tier 4 engine, 66 horsepower. That turns the hydraulic pump only on the sweeper. The, the water pump, again, very straightforward. It's an electric diaphragm pump. This is a filter canister here before the pump. The pump is a three gallon per minute. The nice thing about this as well is that you can run it empty and it won't hurt the pump. It won't burn it out. As mentioned earlier, the hopper is a 4.15 cubic yard volumetric capacity. Those pins are 11 and a half feet off the ground so you can dump into almost any style of gravel box. You can also dump at any height. You can dump it right on the frame rails if you want, or if you're dumping into a roll-off or a dumpster, you don't have to raise it right to the top in order to tilt the hopper. You can see that the, the door cylinders are fastened securely with plates to avoid stress fractures on both the hopper and the door. You can also see that we have reinforced the door with steel ribs so that after thousands of hours of use that door still will not be bent or, or bowing from weight. When it comes to serviceability, anywhere on the sweeper where you see a pivot point or a hinge point, rather than using a pin with a brass bushing, we use hardened chrome pins with composite bushings, which means they're greaseless. Very quick to service the machine after your shift. There's only six grease points on the, on the whole sweeper module, and they're all bearings, and they're all accessible. There's one bearing here, one bearing down here, and one bearing on the main broom, and the same as the other side. So there's three on each side, all accessible. You can see that this truck is equipped with left hand steering. Right hand steering is available. However, with the style of trucks that we use, with the windows cut the way they are and the big mirrors that we utilize, you can see the right hand gutter room very easily from the left hand seat. And you can avoid having to pay a surcharge for right hand steering. There's a camera on the right-hand gutter broom. There's also a camera that looks out back behind the sweeper and a camera that looks into the hopper. The controls are very straightforward, very easy to operate. Again, one button stop, one button resume sweeping. Not intimidating for even a novice operator. That concludes the walk around for the Challenger Street Sweeper. We are confident that Challenger can provide you with the opportunity to achieve higher productivity and higher profits for both you and your company. Thanks once again for your time and have a great day.